Welcome to the Unwired session on mobility. Today we will discuss the digital manufacturing plant. I have uh, Andre Winterhalter, who is director of IT at Conica, uh, which is a chemicals manufacturer in the Houston area. And Andre will share his uh, vision and how he implemented the digital plant. So first of all, Andre, thank you for you know taking some time today. I'm glad to be here. So Andre, you had the vision for the digital or the mobile manufacturing plant and then you worked on building a business case for it. So talk to us a little bit about that. Yes, and uh, it seems to be so far away. It only was last year that you and I met uh, for the first time. Right. And um, the penetration of mobility in, in Kanaka, here in Pasadena, was, was zero. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but we did believe that, and the vision was really to go into a paperless environment in our manufacturing units as it relates to maintenance, uh, inspection of equipments, and compliance to our digital records. And so um, the vision was really to, to go into that direction, but also um, offer a, a user experience that would be um, as, as uh, enjoyable as possible when people come to work. And today, again, um, we would like to transport the, the, the personal environment that, that our kids and you, we use at home with its iPads and that and those new the new way of working into a very traditional environment, right. and uh, young kids today they are different to what we have been accustomed to, and the world is changing, and whether we go mobile today or whether we go mobile in five years, nobody's going to talk about mobility in a few years time. It's going to be just a normal way of doing business. True. Uh, so it is today or last year was a bit of innovation. It still is. And um, again, it really is going to pay for less, but really embracing a workforce and giving them new tools that are going to make uh, their work uh, easier, more effective, and improve communication across, uh, across, across our site. Right. And you mentioned something there which is really key. I think you talked about the user experience and making it simple. And I think uh, when it comes to mobility, those are the two key things that uh, the, the user has to be delighted and you have to keep it simple. So couldn't agree with you uh, more there. Um, tell us about your landscape. I know you have SAP, but maybe some modules and if you have any other you know, systems so people can understand the context. Well, related to, to our mobile apps, uh, really SAP is, is a simple installation of the mainly all the modules of SAP from finance to inventory management, etc. Mm -hmm. More related to, to the mobile apps is plant maintenance, which is essential uh, to, the, to those applications, inventory management, etc. Um, the other big component that is important uh, with uh, mobile apps is our SharePoint uh, environment where a number of our documents such as standard operating procedures, instructions, engineering drawings are stored. Okay. And then what was the scope of the, uh, of the mobile project and uh, was it phased out or was it you know, one big approach or did you phase it out? We phased it out. Um, look at it in probably three phases. The first one is really the setting phase. Mm -hmm. How do you present a new tool, a new vision to um, an organization that does not or has not seen it before. And we did this with a pilot and we selected uh, inventory management uh, in, our, in, our, uh, in our warehouse and Unwired uh, provided us a pilot um, application with, uh, with an iPad that was uh, the one that we are currently using in fact and that was the demo, the selling point. Phase one was really two applications. The first one was the ROMS application in, uh, in our manufacturing units and um, to be able to do inspections of equipment, uh, notifications, taking pictures of defective equipment and uh, that was implemented in uh, September of uh, last year. Seems long away but <laughs> it's, it's not that far away. And, um, and then we implemented in parallel to that um, the um, inventory management uh, uh, processes in our uh, finished goods warehouse from the receiving side backwards into as uh, product leads our um, production uh, units. And uh, so those were implemented uh, at the same time. Phase one was also a learning step for us. Uh, dealing with mobile apps is a bit different to dealing with a standard, very structured um, SAP implementation as we talked a few minutes ago. Uh, mobile is, is, a, is a different way where what is really important is, is the perception of, of the user experience. 
And those lessons learned were incorporated into phase two, uh, which really was more uh, geared towards two applications, one for the maintenance uh, uh, people, uh, work orders uh, in the field, um, and we have about 40 people who do uh, this, this kind of work, mm -hmm. and provide them the tool that they can really, from a, notific from a, a work order, uh, proceed with their work in the different units. And the second application, which, is, which was implemented as a phase two uh, scope, uh, was really our inventory management in our maintenance warehouse. Okay, all right. And then let me back up for a second because uh, you know, we frequently, uh, this question comes is, you know, how do you build the, the, the business case for mobility? You know, and I know you, you, so we just want, so, you know, benefits, costs, how did you build the business case uh, for this initiative? We did not take the traditional trajectory. Um, and I think we quickly realized that dealing with a mobile app is a bit different to dealing with a very structured project. We did not build our business case based on cost. It was not uh, an, a, a, a cost-cutting exercise or a reduction of people. It was really how do we improve our work processes, how do we improve the quality of our data, not only for internal reasons but also for compliance uh, reasons. And so the business case was much more geared around the paperless office, adherence to compliance, improvement of quality, user experience um, in an organization that, that is growing. Um, yes, obviously there are costs to, to, to these projects and we did go and select uh, various uh, or at least work with various uh, vendors um, and we did choose Unwired not only because of their flexibility and their agility but also from a cost perspective. Okay, and then um, how? Quick questions. Two quick questions. So, uh, what what mobile devices have you deployed the app on? And then, um, uh, how did you build your mobile app? I think you, you said you, you you chose the Unwired platform. So maybe what devices did you choose, and how long did it take you for you to deploy your first app out there? Wow, that's a lot of questions. So, okay, the first, try to respond to all of them. Okay. <laughs> um, we are using, uh, our workers are using the iPad. It's, uh, it's the iPad that you buy you know, at, any work, at any store. Uh, we do make it compliant, C1, D2 compliant, and in a rugged, uh, in a rugged case. Right. Um, and that is uh, a need uh, to, to meet our uh, safety measures in, any, in, 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 chemical, in the chemical industry. Uh, it's not much heavier than the normal iPad, but it is what, what we need to operate in a safe environment. Uh, to your question on the first app, uh, how long did it take to develop it? Uh, we started working with Unwired in June 2013, mm -hmm. and nine weeks later, we were implementing and going live with the RONS application and inventory management in our warehouse. Um, so then, nine weeks, about nine weeks. Yes. Okay. All right. And then this question always comes up, very, very important, security. People are paranoid about it, and rightfully so. How did you handle the security aspect? Well, I think it is, we, we use the Unwired mobile platform environment, which encrypts data, uh, which offers already that security with authentication to our AD environment. Okay. Um, the mobile devices are Wi-Fi uh, enabled uh, and would only function within our local network, if I could say so, within the site. Um, and uh, should you lose any iPad, we can wipe out the data, the traditional uh, functionality that exists today. Um, so we did uh, try to decrease the breaches that one could find in, in, in security uh, as much as we can. Now, if you really want to find a way to breach it, obviously there will be like in any other application. Uh, but I think it is a pretty robust environment at this point in time. And in fact, uh, I think testimony to that is since one year that we have been using these applications and the devices, an iPad has never been stolen, an iPad has never walked away. And uh, we have never, we have not experienced any breaches of security. Right. Now that that's really good to hear. Um, I guess one more question, and which is, um, or rather, um, where do you see the last time we were talking? Uh, you know, we talked about how you know you've improved the the com compliance process by digitizing some of the templates that were in SharePoint. I guess the question is, uh, was it just a re-implementation in a mobile scenario, or did you take the opportunity to enhance your business processes? There was an enhancement of the business processes, um, and you, you talked about the, the, the plant maintenance um, documents, or so preventive maintenance and, and, and reactive maintenance. So those documents were, were scanned again, but, but scanned in the sense that 
what do we need and what do we not need. So it was an opportunity for our, our, our customers to uh, clean up a bit their, their uh, portfolio of, of documents. Um, the work processes themselves were not so much uh, redesigned, but more enhanced. Um, okay. All right. Any parting thoughts for um, for our listeners? Yeah, uh, quite a few. Uh, I think um, the first um, it, for those people and those companies who would be interested in going to mobile, and I think it's more. It's not so much of interest. It is coming, and if you again, if you don't embrace mobile, um, I think you are missing. Uh, we're missing an opportunity. Um, I think the first thing that that really needs to be done is you need a mobile champion. You need a champion in your organization that is going to push, pull, and, and really sponsor these, these initiatives. Uh, the second, uh, which we found uh, very useful in, in, in Kanaka, was this pilot and this demo. There's nothing more to show something and demo something to people who are somewhat skeptical. And if you come with a product and you can show it and it does work, um, it is amazing what happens afterwards. It is a bit like a contagious contagious uh, thought process that, that people really, really get, people excited. get excited about it. Um, implemented by phase, um, the business scenario is very important in, the, in, in least selecting which cases you're going to go for and implement mob mobility uh, because it is a change. Uh, we, uh, I think that the vendor sees the, the technical aspect of the, of the solution, which is really the software. Uh, the, uh, the customer, like Konaka, sees the effect more the people effect and the work process effect. And, um, and that is also very hard and, and challenging to manage expectations, but also not to stay where you are. You always have to look forward in, in the future. And uh, yes, I do see opportunities with our executives. I do see opportunities with our sales force. There are opportunities everywhere. Now, is there always a business case? That is another question, right? Right. Uh, but, but, um, I think mobility is, 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 is only a starting point. Um, and then you talk about these little devices here. Yeah. We know Put those, on my Google the Google Glass and, and yeah, others that future. are going to come. Um, that, that is the role of a champion to really see how um, technology over the next few years is going to help as opposed to being helped by it. Right. Well, well, Andre, thank you very much for your time. I think those were great insights that should help anybody who's contemplating uh, a journey towards mobility. Uh, with that, folks, this session is over, uh, and we'll see you again. Thank you for listening.